Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This is gonna be for the next three months in love for you, uh, what you can expect, uh, what you need to know, and who you might be dealing with um, for October to December 2021. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. You can check out the description box. I have all of the playlists for each sign linked there, so you can check out your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance. So let's see, spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn. For Capricorn, for the next three months in love. What can Capricorn expect, spirit? In love in the next three months. What can Capricorn expect in love? Looking inward and reach out. I want to have things to think. Looking inward is kind of like the hermit. Someone that's doing some reflecting, planning, figuring out their next steps, seeking answers. Um soul searching and then reach out is a card about communicating reaching out contact you know so somebody here could be reaching out in the next three months you could be reaching out to someone we'll see what this is about I, I feel like someone's thinking about what to say when I see these two energies together I think of someone that is perhaps thinking about you know what to say how to communicate you know when they reach out what will happen that kind of energy so let's see for Capricorn can we get some insight please what can Capricorn expect in love the next three months spirit? what can Capricorn expect regarding love in the next three months what can Capricorn expect for Capricorn Oop. Hold on. Empress reverse. What can Capricorn expect in the next three months? I'm going to cut the deck, so we'll see what comes out. Okay, what you can expect in the next three months. Three of cups, two of pentacles reverse. Interesting. When I see these two cards, I think of one person being chosen out of two. We'll see if I'm right about that. What do you need to know? Queen of Cups reverse. The Empress shows up. So she was important. Okay, who you might be dealing with? We have the High Priestess. Ace of Cups, wow. Someone secretly um, wanting you, desiring you, secretly uh, in love. We'll see. This Empress is important, but I'm not sure why. Okay, overall energy. Wow, Two of Cups reverse. There could already be a separation here. Five of Pentacles reverse after that. Someone could be focused on recovery. Overcoming difficulty. So let's get into this. What do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know for Capricorn? Clarity insight, please, for Capricorn. Oops. Well, let's start with this Two of Cups reverse. Now, Two of Cups reverse doesn't necessarily have to be a breakup. It could be a disconnect between two people. You know, you're just not on the same page. There's been a falling out, perhaps. Um, and this is the overall energy. Ace of Cups came out again. Okay, I didn't ask my question yet, so I'm going to put it back. All right, Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups reverse. Why is the Two of Cups reverse here? What is going on with my deck today? Wow, Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups. 
So this could be somebody um, apologizing here, expressing themselves. This could be a soulmate past person, the chariot at the bottom of the deck, cancer energy. Now, typically when I have a card like a two of cups reverse and then a knight of cups, I think someone's apologizing after a separation or after there's been a disagreement. Can I get one more for the two of cups reverse? Why is the two of cups reverse here? Yeah, page of cups. I feel like this is somebody that's apologizing or just expressing themselves after maybe a disagreement or a separation. Nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. There could be trust issues here or um, a situation where someone's not giving up despite the fact that, what is going on with my deck? Someone's not giving up is what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by my own deck. All right, so let's see what's going on here with the Three of Cups and the Two of Pentacles Reverse. The Two of Pentacles Reverse usually means someone has weighed their options and made a decision. What's this Two of Pentacles Reverse about? Why is the Two of Pentacles Reverse here? Four of Wands. Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Hmm. Two of Swords. When I saw that Four of Wands, I thought someone wanted to keep the peace. But then the Two of Swords came out. Interesting. So, which is it? Did they make the choice or not? Are they back and forth? Why is the Two of Swords here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Courage, strength, Leo energy. Maybe they need courage to make this difficult decision. Maybe they're acting brave, but they haven't actually made this decision. What is going on? Tell me about the Three of Cups. Let's see what's going on here. Why is the Three of Cups here? What's this Three of Cups about? Typically, this is a card about coming together, a reunion, a group of people celebrating, mingling. Why is the Three of Cups here? Now, it might very well be a reunion. Ugh, what in the world? Five of Wands. Okay, so, hmm. Okay. So, what I'm getting is that there was um, drama or conflict within a group of people. This could be friend group, family, friends, coworkers. There was drama here within a group of people. And someone's trying to make peace or keep the peace. I feel like com communication was cut off here. Whatever happened with this Two of Cups reverse, that's why someone's thinking about reaching out because reaching out is gonna be a big deal. So that tells me either someone could have been blocked or you stopped talking or something like that. So now when someone reaches out again, I feel like it's because they wanna fix things or you're, you know, like move on from this with the chariot. There could have been a jealousy here. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Death. Scorpio energy. I feel like something, yeah, whatever happened led to an ending. The Hangman, the Wheel of Fortune, Eight of Swords. I feel like someone wants to move forward. You know, it's like they don't want things to be as they are. They want things to move forward. 
this is what you can expect in the next three months. Can I get one more energy for this Two of Pentacles reverse? Why is it Two of Pentacles reverse? Can I get one more clarifier, please? Ten of Wands. Okay, so what I'm getting, yeah, Six of Pentacles. This is someone that wants to make things right. I feel like this person had to make a choice. So for example, if you and this person were together, they had to make some sort of choice and maybe they weren't able to, or they made the wrong choice somewhere in your connection. I feel it caused a rift. And now this person, whoever it was that couldn't make the choice or made the wrong choice, they want to move on from this. And so they're gonna come to you with an apology or an expression of how they feel and this could be you as well so flip it if it resonates with you Capricorn but that's what's happening they want to fix things it's almost like they want things to go back to where they were but I'm almost picking up here that it's it's not very genuine it's not it's almost like someone only made this choice because they were forced to or they feel like they have to do this but it's not coming from the heart if that makes sense So let's look at this Empress because she is very important and I'm trying to figure out why. This is in the what you need to know. Why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here? Five of Cups. Why is the Empress here? Seven of Swords. So this Empress was hurt, deceived, disappointed. This Empress is, is this Queen of Cups reverse. There is a heartbreak, disappointment. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. I'm also picking up there could be two different people here. Tell me about this Queen of Cups reverse. Because I have the Three of Cups. The High Priestess shows up again. Secrets, mystery, deception. I feel like this empress was deceived. Deceived and is very hurt about it. I think what you need to know is that there's something that you still don't know <laughs> with this high priestess, which I'm gonna clarify over here. Can I get one more for the queen of cups reverse? And this high priestess is connected to your person because this is what you need to know about who you're dealing with. And the High Priestess is over here. Tell me about the Queen of Cups reverse. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, um, who? okay, I have a feeling that if this is you, Capricorn, which I feel for a lot of you, you're an Empress-like figure. Does not You don't have to be a female. The Empress is feminine energy, but it could be anybody of any gender. Um, the Empress is someone with a lot of value. They bring a lot to the table. They have a lot to offer. This Empress is way above this Knight of Cups, Page of Cups. Um, so I feel like this is uh, you, Capricorn. I feel like you had suspicions or were waiting. It's almost like you knew in the back of your mind or your intuition was probably telling you that something was up. Something was up and you ended up hurt by this person. And it was because you were deceived or taken advantage of. If you're dealing with someone that, you know, it's, all, it's always been butterflies and rainbows, this is not your reading. Because this is someone that was hurt. And look at the bottom of the deck here, the Emperor, Aries energy. You were hurt by your person. This is a divine counterpart with to the Empress, the Emperor, obviously. Um, I feel like this person presented themselves to you as an Emperor-like energy, but they're not. They're not because they can't even make a decision. The emperor is very decisive. The emperor it tends to be more mature. They're a bit standoffish or cold because they don't let emotions rule their decision making. They take charge of a situation. 
they get in there and they fix things. This is someone that's been like back and forth, isn't really sure, needs courage with the strength card. That's not an emperor energy. I mean, it could also be that this isn't. Okay, so let's say that this person is an emperor energy. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. They are not at your level and they hurt you. So now they can't come at, come to you with the same BS, right? They have to come to you with humility. Knight of Cups, Page of Cups because of what's happened. You know, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. But I feel like most of you are not dealing with someone. Someone presented themselves to be an emperor, but they weren't. Or at least their behavior did not really go with an emperor type of um, energy. You know, it's... It's like you're, you're presenting yourself as one thing, but doing another. So let's look at what this high priestess is all about, because she's apparently important. What's this high priestess about, spirit? Why is the high priestess here? Yep, five of swords. Oops. I don't know what's going on with my deck today. Why is the high priestess... Temperance, yeah. Sagittarius energy, balance, another another energy here for balance. The high priestess with the five of swords tells me lies, deception. Someone kept something from another person, secrets. Secrets that um, they hid or kept to themselves for their own advantage. This is definitely someone or a situation that wasn't easy. I have the five of swords, seven of swords, five of cups, ten of wands, five of wands. This was not an easy situation. And I feel like someone wants to try to make it better with temperance. It's like someone wants to balance this out. Someone wants to have harmony here. Because they want, you know, there to be love with the ace of cups. Yeah, Ace of Wands. This is somebody that wants to fix the problem that they probably caused. This could have happened way in the past or recently. You know, this could also be somebody that has kept to themselves that they want to fix this. I got one more for this Ace of Cups. You know, maybe they've been hoping or thinking about this in secret. Five of Pentacles, geez. I have all the fives on the board. And fives all are about um, conflict and change and obstacles, challenges, you know. So I feel like this is somebody that wants an Ace of Cups. But first they have to address all whatever happened here. That's why the Two of Cups reverses the overall energy. And of course, Capricorn, if this is someone that you don't want to deal with any longer, you're not interested, then that's fine. You're not interested. And when they reach out, you're going to be like, no thanks. Um... But this is just showing you what's coming your way in the next three months. You do not have to accept it, you know. But I feel like, you know, whoever this is, they, they're going to come to you with an apology. So it's not going to be just like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it's not going to be like that. There's going to be um, some sort of genuine expression. And with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups, they tend to be genuine energies. That's definitely somebody is in the Ace of Cups too that um you know they mean what they say typically however whatever decision this person is making or has made it's almost like when they do apologize they're going to be like remember that situation that was you know a problem it's not a problem anymore please forgive me that's the energy i'm picking up um but at the same time be careful with that Because I feel like it was really hard for your person to make that decision. And it's almost like it shouldn't have been that hard. <laughs> but it was. And I feel like they go back and forth still. 
you know in the next three months it's like they just want want to show you a, um kind of like a, a measure of good faith you know they want to express themselves in a way that makes you trust them because they've probably really messed with your trust I mean, I feel like this person doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want to have any more drama. So, you know, they're going to reach out with, you know, an apology. And of course, you take it from there <laughs> if you want to apologize to them or not. Um, but that's what I have for you for the next three months, Capricorn. In the extended, we're going to be looking at this particular person and their energies towards you. What do you need to know about them? Um, and also we're going to look at what do you need to know about the situation as a whole any obstacles hidden factors anything you need to keep in mind will be in the extended along with some advice and spiritual guidance so if you want to get more insight uh, check that out it'll be linked in the description box and sometimes I pin it in the comments uh, thank you so much for watching Capricorn if you enjoyed the reading hit that like button subscribe so you can see more readings from me I'd love to have you. Thank you so much for all of your support and kind comments. Um, it does not go unnoticed. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.